Alexa, light off. Welcome back to the channel. I have on the collared polo, or I don't really know if this is considered a collared polo, but I'm getting ready for work. This is my first day working since I've been back. I'm only working four days because I want to enjoy the other days to actually have a break. Plus, my friend already made plans for us to go see a baseball game. Her boyfriend plays baseball at AM. So we're gonna go see him play, possibly if the weather isn't bad. So I wanted to have Friday off and then Saturday just finish up my last minute errands. And then Sunday morning, I'm leaving. Since I've been home, the only thing that I've done is spend money. Literally, just spend money. I haven't worked, so technically I haven't made any money. I've just been spending money on various things. Like, Ulta is having their 21 Days of Beauty sale. And let me tell y'all, TikTok will not let you have anything. Y'all know that Billie Eilish perfume? Well, I have to go to Birmingham on Saturday. And I was like, okay, I'll just go small in store and pick and like go get it when I get back. By the time I got back, it was sold out in all of the stores near me. There are three Ultas near me, all of which were sold out. I was like, okay, great. So yesterday, which was Sunday, my dad had to call a basketball game for Montlow State Community College, which is located in Tullahoma, Tennessee. 
and they had an Ulta there and luckily they had this particular perfume in stock. So literally Saturday night, I placed an order for pickup. Sunday's when I went to actually go pick it up and I was surprised that they still had it in stock. But then I saw like Tullahoma, Tennessee is a really small town. So everything was right there and it was actually like a pretty good little, I wouldn't consider it like a good shopping center, but they had a Marshalls right next to their Ulta and that Marshalls had everything in it. I got my good skincare. When I say good skincare, I mean the COSRX. They had the snail mousse in there. They had the moisturizer there and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I was like, this is exactly what I needed. And I told my dad the next time that he has games over here, I'm going to make him come by here again and get me some more snail mousse. I'm kind of in a hurry because I want to get Dutch Bros and Brugers before work. And it's literally about to be 8 o'clock and I have to be at work at 8.30. But it takes me no time to actually get to work but that's not accommodating for the lines that both businesses may have especially because everybody is on spring break right now which is kind of irritating i hate whenever all the schools and like colleges have spring break at the same time because that means everybody's out of school which also means that more dumb drivers are on the road everything that i've bought since i've been home i got a new pair of shoes which are like the birkenstock dupes like the clog ones but they're the Steve Madden version. Yeah, the Steve Madden version of them. I got those. My mom bought me a sweater. I have bought some more skincare. Bought the Billie Eilish perfume. Also got this powder puff yesterday because it was on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty. Of course, I spent money on food. What would you expect? Last night for dinner, my mom and I actually had Pizza Hut's like new hot honey pizza thing. And it was really good. It was just very, very hot. But I will for sure get it again. Like, there was, we had a bunch of pizza left over and I'm actually taking that for lunch. Together. Get together. One thing I hate about this time of year, specifically like the spring, y'all know the trees that have like the white flowers on them, they're really small and they blow in the wind very easily. They make my sinuses act up. So for like the past week, my eyes have been so irritated and even right now they're irritated and there's nothing I can do about it because the moment I step outside, the trees are still there. I'm doing my makeup, I think, just going to blot a little bit more. I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out the doors to go get breakfast and head to work. Now I'm gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be running a little bit late for work because I stopped at Dutch Bros and I still have one more stop to get my hash browns. But this is only, this is my third time going to Dutch Bros. First time my drink was not that great. Also what I ordered was not great. And then the second time that I went, it was just like really bitter. So today I got a white chocolate annihilator with soft top and what was supposed to be caramel walls. Um, these walls are not at all caramel, so uh, I don't know about that. And what? Oh my gosh! People are already driving like idiots. He just came. First of all, the lane or the side in which he just passed on is a turning lane, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, he wants to go a little bit faster so we can turn in the turning lane. No, he just hopped back in front of me. I'm gonna let you do your thing because you clearly are not from around these parts. And in these parts, they will gladly give you a ticket once you get to a certain part of the mountain. So I'm gonna let you do your thing. I'm gonna let you do it, Buki. Give it a little taste test, a little taste test. Mm -mm. I'm not liking that either. I don't know what it is. Like when I had it for the very first time, it was so good. And now I'm like, what was I sipping on? Like, have my taste buds changed that drastically? Because this isn't bad, but it's not revolutionary. I know the first time I had it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best coffee I've ever had in my entire life. And now I'm like, this is mediocre at best, which they are new. So I'm like, okay, maybe they just need a little bit more experience, but I'm just, I'm not impressed at the moment. I'm about to go pick up my breakfast and then head to work. So I'll probably just come back when I get off or I might like film on my phone. I like, I don't take my camera into work because I'm obviously supposed to be working. So I'm not gonna vlog when I'm at work. I've been asked that before. People are like, why don't you vlog when you're at work? Cause I'm supposed to be working. That's why I would rather not someone higher up in the company see me vlogging at work and then fire me because I'm not working. I would really rather not. I would hate to be fired for that reason. 
back home and I'm literally about to lay down for a minute. I have to hop on a call with one of these guys from the honors program to like work on a rough draft or something. But that's not till 5 and it's 3.50 right now. So I'm about to just turn on the TV and watch something until then. But work was really good actually. I sold four wax passes and our goal was to sell four and when I left there was five that had been sold for the day. So there's still plenty of opportunities. <gasps> Flage Johnson's brother charged with disorderly conduct and assault after jumping over table during encore altercation. Oh no. Which, okay, I've been seeing a lot of mixed opinions in the comments. I get in the grand scheme of things, him jumping on the court was very, I don't even know how to put it. I wouldn't say unethical, but some people don't agree with that. If I was being attacked, I would hope that my sibling would try and defend me, which I get that it's like women against women and a man shouldn't get involved. But like, y'all see how tall Camilla is, right? She's literally six, seven. She's no small person, right? And her pushing Flage, she pushed her extremely rough and extremely hard to the point where she fell on her feet because it caught her so off guard. And in my opinion, I don't think Camilla should have gotten involved at all because she literally came from left field to push her and wasn't involved in the initial altercation. And had she not pushed her, I feel like the situation would have diffused itself. But because she came out of nowhere, it just made it a whole lot worse and tensions got high and attitudes and stuff like that. But I understand why they had to charge him with disorderly conduct, but ah, I don't think Camilla would personally press charges. I think that's like a whole SEC thing as far as who's pursuing legal action. They're charging him with assault and he like barely pushed the girl, like barely pushed her, especially not compared to how Flaget was pushed. I don't know, that's that's just my personal opinion on the situation. Just Josh, I'm spending this holiday logging. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put a ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song, give me that tempo. Oh. Told cool, be a fool with the shit. Told her, don't let her friends know. In the field, and I move like a dime. You better cheat me a bench. I'm gonna need the bag. I should have pulled forward a wee bit more. That's alright though. Oh, I didn't even for my TikTok. What was that? All right, we finna head back to his house. I just got for me, my mom, my dad to share. Fifteen piece lemon pepper with lemon pepper fries and of course the two cups of ranch. If you aren't doing mobile ordering for your wing stop what are you doing like not gonna lie to y'all i am one of those people that i applaud myself on my music taste i think i have pretty good music taste um i can listen to just about anything with the exception of like a few genres but for the most part i can listen to anything and i feel like i have a good ear when it comes to music others might agree others might disagree but i personally think my music tastes pretty good i haven't had any complaints i look like a glazed donut which means it's time for me to go to bed I'm going to take my medicine and we're going to fall asleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.